Have you created or are you planning to create a brilliant web app that's the next Netflix, YouTube, or Spotify, for example? If you have or are planning to, great job. But let me just tell you, it won't make any waves if people don't know about it. That's why in this video, I'll walk you through the process of promoting your web app and cover 10 marketing strategies that are guaranteed to attract users and spread the word about your fabulous creation. So let's get started. All right, so before you start promoting your web app to literally everyone, just pause for a little bit because I don't advise marketing without knowing who you're targeting and marketing to. Sure, you may hit the mark by accident, but you might also waste a lot of effort there. So just start by defining your ideal user and just think about who would use your web app. Just imagine an individual and ask these questions like who are they, what problems do they face in life or in work, and what does your app do to help them with their problems. For example, let's say you've built an AI-powered to-do list app. Are you targeting busy professionals drowning in tasks or maybe college students who just want to stop procrastinating? Just write down your persona's age, income, interests, pain points, and hobbies, and anything else you think is relevant. Then just look back at this information as it will really help you speak your audience's language. Then think of where they hang out online, maybe something like a Reddit, X, Discord, Facebook, or somewhere else entirely. Just try to estimate the size of your audience as well. Look at how large and active it is and note down some keywords they use most often. And you'll see that later this data will be instrumental to your marketing efforts. Okay, once you've figured out who you're actually targeting, it's time to get your first users. I mean, unless your web app just went viral overnight by accident. But if that didn't happen, in my opinion, the best way to do this is with an early access or beta launch. Just give users exclusive access to your app before it actually goes public, and you'll attract the early adopter demographic. From them, you'll receive real feedback so you can make improvements to your web app and communicate the early release with a website or landing page, for example, and also include a contact form and some reasons on why people should join. Offer an incentive like free premium features, a discount, or even a a title like founding member for them. Early users are a part of something big, so really make sure you let them feel that. Also, you can spread the word about your launch in Reddit communities, Discord groups, LinkedIn posts, and Twitter threads. I mean, X threads. Exactly where your users hang out. But don't go too overboard with this because no one likes spam. Your goal here is the first 100 users, so really treat them well. I mean, engage with them, collect their feedback, and make them want to spread the word. Now, moving on, another way to attract users is to show off your web app on platforms that host new tools. Web app directories and product listing platforms are basically like digital storefronts, so make your web app available over there. And let me share a few platforms that you should get listed on ASAP. And the first one is Beta List, which is focused on early stage startups seeking beta testers, basically like its name implies. Now, if your app is a fresh take on an existing product, sign up to Alternative TO. Startup directories like Launching Next and Side Projectors are also great for exposure and attracting investments. And when you're ready to go head to head with the big players and don't mind some serious competition, go on Product Hunt and Indie Hackers. And by the way, don't just list your app and disappear completely. You need to engage with people who comment, ask for their feedback, and encourage users to leave those reviews because good reviews equal more visibility and that means more users for you. And now the next marketing strategy is the very well-known social media, which is possibly one of the most impactful marketing mediums out there. I mean, posting just something like, hey, I made an app, go check it out, isn't gonna cut it here. Cause it's all about engagement in social media, not just your promotion. And to really do the social media thing effectively, the first thing you have to do is pick the right platforms. I mean, your personal details that we talked about earlier will once again come in handy here, and remembering the places where your target audience hangs out can be really useful here. But if you're just unsure about this, a useful rule of thumb is to go with LinkedIn and X if your app is business to business model, and choose Instagram and TikTok or Reddit as well if it's consumer focused more. 
And once you've picked some platforms, make sure you have a strategy. And if you're just out of ideas, share your journey because people love behind the scenes stuff. Post about your struggles, about your wins, the lessons you learned along the way, and you can make it really, really personal here. Also post common threads, breaking down how your web app works, upload shorts, showing it in action, or share just memes that make sense in the context of your app and your audience. And always make sure to interact act like a human being because I mean we can all obviously tell when there's an AI response going on in social media and you don't want to seem like a machine so basically reply to comments jump into conversations with your clients or with just random people DM potential users and so on done right social media can turn your product into something people connect with and really want to support and actually while we're on the subject let's talk about a long-term customer attraction strategy or in other words content marketing I mean want to attract steady traffic then create helpful and really interesting content that directs to your web app you'll be an authority within the field and people will be more likely to give your product a real go and you can even start a blog because I mean well blogs are practically made for content marketing I mean just write about what your users would really really care about for example if you help freelancers publish a post on how to attract high paying clients, write about productivity hacks, share negotiation tips, and whatever you cover, make sure to mention how your web app helps that situation. And also when writing, optimize your text for search engines or SEO, cause it's a really great way to get traffic for absolutely no cost at all. Just find keywords, people Google and include them in your content. Search engines will just pick up on it and you'll be more visible. Oh, and by the way, you can for for sure reuse the content that you post on your blog. Just break it down into some bullet points and voila, it's ready to be shared on platforms like X, LinkedIn, and other stuff like that. Similarly, you can also repurpose your content for shorts or even newsletters. So one blog post can go a long way. And also, I mean, content marketing works for you 24 seven and a really solid blog post or video that you posted today will just keep bringing in users months or even years years down the line. Okay guys, now I have got a question for you. What are you more likely to trust? An ad that features a fancy visual with some really salesy copy or a recommendation from a friend who really loves using a product? I think it's pretty clear that most of us would choose a friend, but of course, let me know what you think in the comments. But I would choose a friend because word of mouth is really great marketing. So why not just let your happy users help you out? I've got two ways to do just that. And those two ways are referral and affiliate programs. And for both of those, you'll need an incentive. I mean, referral programs usually offer things like discounts, extra features, exclusive perks, or even just cold, hard cash. With that figured out, let people know and make it super easy to share. Like adding one-click invite links inside your app is really, really effective. Also make sure to implement extra bonuses for multiple successful referrals and watch people compete for who can invite the most for you. But now, while referrals are just for everyday users, Affiliate programs are for bloggers, YouTubers, and just content creators. Basically, people who can spread the word at a really good scale. They're usually compensated with a commission on sales using their unique link. But just make sure to provide affiliates with marketing materials, such as banners, templates, and talking points. Offer also bigger rewards to the best performing affiliates, and trust me, they will really, really appreciate this. And if you actually manage to pull this off and do it right, referrals and affiliate programs will bring you in a ton of new users. Now, the next strategy I really wanna talk about is actually an inorganic marketing technique because when you just need a little firepower to speed things up, paid ads come in clutch. And remember the platforms we talked about that your ideal user persona would hang out on? That is exactly where you should focus your paid ad efforts. And also make sure not to advertise your productivity tool on TikTok 
TikTok unless you know what you're really doing. I know TikTok is super fun, but it might just not work for you. And a shotgun approach most likely won't work for you either. And by that, I just mean that you should really use the tools offered by the platform you advertise on to really adjust the targeting of your ads. I mean, look up keywords related to your product niche and audience and just run ads on them. Got a competitor? Target people who look up to them and run some ads for users who visited your web app but didn't really convert. Sometimes they just need that one little extra push. But just whatever ads you run, remember to test, tweak, and repeat. Start small, run a few test campaigns first, and monitor their performance. Things like click-through rates, conversions, cost per sign up, basically just track it all. Based on your findings, then adjust your ads. Tweak their message audience, targeting, and just see how that impacts them. And now moving on, depending on your web apps pricing, it might be a really good idea to offer a free trial or even make your product freemium altogether. I mean, the best way to get people to use and pay for your web app is to make trying it completely risk-free. So you might want to make your product available for free for let's say a week or two and include all the features and give people a chance to try everything out before they actually have to commit to it. Because I mean, if they like it, they'll want to continue using it for sure. And imagine that every paying customer is a happy one. Now, an alternative to the free trial would be the freemium pricing model. And now freemium basically means free forever, but with extra features locked behind a payment or a subscription. Just make sure your paid plan has enough bells and whistles to really make it worth it for the clients. But whichever route you decide to take, make it really easy to upgrade, have clear pricing, a simple checkout process, and once in a while, send reminders to your customers. Now here is another really effective marketing strategy. People trust other people's experiences. So work on gaining some social proof like testimonials or reviews. Have a bunch of happy people using your web app, ask them to leave a review and offer small initiatives for letting other people know about their experiences. Also, if you're posting on social media, ask if you can repost your client's experiences on your social media, because I mean, screenshots or retweets really look a lot better than just some polished copy. And if you're feeling really confident, present a case study for people to read or see. Just tell the story of a customer of yours and display how your web app helped them resolve a problem. If there are numbers to back it up, that is even better. Be proud also of your social proof and feature it on your website. Got, let's say 10K users? You might want to let others know that you've got 10K users and then maybe you've got a high rating on Trustpilot, also make sure to show it off. And my final strategy for the day would be to collaborate with influencers and partners. Sometimes the best way to get people to notice your web app is to just borrow someone else's audience. And you really don't need to go extra big here either. You definitely don't need influencers like Kim Kardashian or something like that. Social media accounts with let's say a thousand or just a bit more followers than that are great as well because their audiences tend to be really highly engaged. And make sure to find creators in your niche niche and then offer them free access and propose, let's say, a sponsored post or a demo or tutorial if they love that and want that, of course. And while we're at it, if there is a non-competing brand with the same audience, reach out and offer them to team up with you. Do a joint giveaway, bundle your products together, or just simply exchange backlinks for SEO. You both will most definitely benefit from this. And also, you may want to seek shout outs from the big names in your industry. Contact bloggers, podcasters, or even magazines in your niche and let them know about your web app. If they let their audience know about you, brace for thousands of potential new users. And that is all the marketing strategies I have for you for today. Implementing just a couple of them will give you results in absolutely no time. And while you're busy promoting your web app, give Hosting Your Horizons a try. It will make the development of your next step that much more simple because with Horizons, you do the ideas and AI does all of the work for you. It just launched in early access. So if you're interested, please click the link in the description and also make sure to use our coupon code HZN10 to get 10% off of your plan. 
and also make sure to drop by our Hostinger Horizons Discord community where we share tips about everything web apps related. And if you found this video helpful at all, please drop us a like and consider subscribing to Hostinger Academy for more helpful videos just like this one in the future. Now, thank you so much for watching and best of luck with your web apps.